now we will see how to do the device check for the um, Dragger Primus anesthesia machine. So we, we just have to turn on the machine and when we turn on the machine it will boot up and come to a page where it is asking for start self check either here or even here it says start self check press the rotate encoder so I press the rotate encoder to st start self check but before that it is asking for some checklist so we have to make sure that all this is all this is done so we, we have to make sure that we have connected the uh, gases and then we have to make sure that uh, uh, auxiliary O2 and O2 flash everything is functional so here vaporizers are locked in position so this is here the vaporizer should be kept locked this is the lock so it's kept locked ok and set to zero fill level ok so again I will sh say make sure that this is set to zero and the fill level you could see and then it is saying safety filler locked so um, this is the safety filler so we have to make sure that it is locked ok it's locked and then uh, breathing circuit it is, it is asking to check the breathing circuit it is fully connected and uh, gas scavenger connected and the soda line is ok so this is the circuit and this is how you connect the circuit so this is the test plug you connect it to the test plug and this is inspiratory and expiratory and this is for the manual ventilation ok so the manual ventilation we have connected the um, and the back or the or the test lung yeah so here we have connected the sampling ETCO to sampling line to the water tap so that uh, machine will use this for analyzing the um, gases in the res in the breathing circuit and then it is asking water trap fill level ok check the water trap everything and we have to set the next thing we have to set the APL valve to manual and then we have to uh, adjust the APL valve to 30, 30 and occlude the white piece connect the sampling line we have done all this close the safety fl uh, flow control so this is the safety flow control and we have to keep it closed and then um, it was saying adjust the APL valve to 30 so this is adjustable pressure limiter valve so we will uh, adjust the pressure limiter to 30 and then we will start the test so once we are done with all this checklist then we can start the test and when we when we initiated the test the machine will do the gas delivery test and then the ventilator test and the monitoring test so we have as a three uh, okay monitoring test almost everything is complete electronics is complete speaker gas analyzer oxygen sensor and battery even the battery is 100 percent everything is okay and now in the gas delivery test it is measuring the pipeline pressure of the oxygen air nitrous and uh, cylinder we have not connected any backup cylinder and then it is measuring the inlet sensor and here we have another sensor which is uh, um, the inspiratory and exhalation sensor but this is inlet inlet pressure sensor so and um, here we have safety mechanisms and everything so it will first check the gas delivery check ventilator check ventilator check we, we have the system leak check and the manual ventilation check and the APL valve check so we have different tests in the ventilator column even the flow sensor if this check failed we have to change the flow sensor the sensors check in the ventilator column if it fails we have to change the flow sensors so we will wait for the uh, machine to uh, perform the test it is almost uh, 17 percentage complete so it will take almost 5 minutes and most of the test it will do by its own self so let's wait for the so now it is almost 75 percentage complete and uh, the ones in the uh, green color these tests are passed and the uh, ones which is rotating it's these tests are being done and these are the tests that are yet to be done so as we can see almost 81 percentage of the test is complete and this is a breathing system pressure it is checking the pressure so now zero 
and now it's 30 and it is maintaining at 30 this is how machine understands the leak it will blow a uh, blow some gas and try to maintain the pressure inside the circuit and if the pressure is being maintained constant just like as how it is being maintained now it means that the that there is no leak but if the machine is not able to uh, maintain that pressure then there is leak now you can see that the leak tests are passed so most of the tests in, say in the ventilator will be based on this test even the APL valve test for the APL valve test we have set the APL valve to 30 we have set the APL valve to 30 and uh, it will try to maintain 30 it tried to maintain 30 and when it when it was able to maintain 30 and it is not going more than 30 which means the APL valve is working good since this is a, a mechanical valve the machine will test every time so the test is complete 100% complete and the self test result is in green which means everything is passed so the machine is ready to be used and it's fully functional